I went from Texas to Milwaukee to Texas to Milwaukee to Texas to Milwaukee to Fort Myers, Florida to Milwaukee to St. Petersburg from St. Petersburg to Panama City Beach, from Panama City Beach to Los Angeles, Santa Monica, from Santa Monica to Wisconsin. And I've been here since 92. When did you build this? Uh, last year, about this time last year. That's, this is dope, man. This is really creative. This time, this time last year, I was homeless. I still had the ostomy bag when I built this. Because you, what, what happened? What happened? What, tell me about that. I fell on a chair and I ruptured my intestines, so they put an ostomy bag on me. Just like that. Yeah, and I had to have it for at least four months, but I had to have it rescheduled because I was building this. I couldn't go in for surgery to have it reversed because I was building this, and I had to finish before I got evicted. But then you fell while you were building, like doing your profession. No, I. Uh, I fell in my living room. Oh, your living room? My own living room on a chair. Oh my God. Since it happened at home, there was no compensation or anything. Right, right, that's crazy. No SSI, no SDS. Uh, everywhere you see is energy assistance, emergency assistance, rental assistance, but they're all blowing smoke, man. Every time you go up there, it's like, yeah, yeah, you know, no. Yeah, we're sorry, but. <laughs> we're sorry, but. So, what did your job do when it happened? Like, they just let you go? Well, they had to. I couldn't work. I had an ostomy. No bag. work? No, you didn't get workers' comp or like that? No, I, it didn't happen at work. It happened at home. Right. It could happen I'm, to anybody. Well, I mean, unemployment. That's what I meant to say. Unemployment? unemployment. I didn't have enough hours in with the company to get unemployment. Just like that. It Like, it literally could happen to anybody. Just like yeah, that. It can happen to anyone. Any, like, the situations in life, people, they, yeah. they look down on people and they don't understand people, but it's like, you know... And then I'm looking at you like a very creative dude. You're and, a builder. And, and, and they say you're you are supposed to, at all times, have, you know, at least three months rent and be secure like that. Yeah. In case something happens, even that doesn't help you in no. the long, in the long run. And how easy is that here in Green Bay? Like, be, be honest. Like, <laughs> Green Bay is. Green Bay is one of the most expensive places there is to live. But they say this is the best place to live in the world? If you got money. <laughs> right, if you got money. Because now they want to bring the what, the draft in and the Super Bowl in another seven years? The apartment that I uh, rented over off a of university, the woman that owns it, she's a Chinese woman. Her name is Bao He. She owns about 170 properties in Green Bay. Yeah. And she gets, she goes to she gets people through New Cap. New Cap paid my rent for two years, for 18 months, for rental assistance. And she goes there and she she gets all of her renters from there because she, she knows that they'll pay the rent. For sure rent. For sure rent. But she charges them a lot for the rent because she knows they're paying it. But after New Cap gets finished paying it, you're stuck with a twelve hundred dollar rent. Right, bill, right, bro. and it's more than that now. Like, yeah, they have they have jacked the prices up. Could you not? Well, do that? that was just a for instance. But um, I paid eight. So, I mean, so what are you having there? You got electricity? Yeah. 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 You have electricity. Yeah, I have two car batteries right here. Sorry, sorry. We have two car batteries right there. You get two wow. car batteries right here. This right wow. here, this right here is a thousand watt power inverter. That's dope. And you mounted all it, this. You yeah. did all this yourself. It inverts the electricity from the batteries to there, so I can use it. And you actually have TV and all that in here. Yeah. And hey man, this is a dope setup. I like how you got your own. Um, you radio. What did you do to hang that stuff on the wall right there? Like that's Velcro. dope. Velcro. And, Velcro. Uh, hot glue. Hey man, so just in case somebody, what's your name, man? Sam. Sam, hey, I'm Corey, Sam. Sam I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, cordially meet you, man. Uh, introduce myself. And then what's this here? What do you do with this right here? This one, a shower. Let me see, man. Let me check that out. That's dope. Man, y'all ain't seen no van life like this before. This is cold. This dude, shut up. Watch your feet. Oh, 
Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Oh, wow, that's dope. This, Sam was smart dude. This pan right here? Yeah. I did gardening and I, I jarred uh, vegetables. Yep. This is my can canning pan. I put a drain and put a hole in the bottom no, you didn't of make it. A sink. And I got a sink. You made a sink. Wait, so you have a stove or something? I have a stove, a sink. Man, that's dope. This this is this is cozy looking. I ain't gonna jack with you. I need like this I music. Need, I need a solar panel so I can have a refrigerator. Uh, so and that's all you missing? Yeah. So I mean, if if somebody did want to reach out and donate, what would help what, right now would probably be like a solar solar panel to stick up here. Yeah, that's what I left the rails up there for. Yeah. How, how, how much are those? Have you priced one out? They're one hundred and twenty-eight dollars at Harbor Freight. Really? Yep. And that'd be the size you need. And how much? Well, well, what, how much like what a thousand watt power thousand watt power uh solar panel and then how long would that thousand watt last for you i don't know the lifespan of a solar panel <laughs> but no what i mean like uh, like what does it do like how i mean i don't you really generate the electricity during the day and you use it at night okay when the sun's out so and how do you last on food out here what do you do for food i go to paul's pantry once a week I get enough food to last me a week and give a bunch of food away to other homeless people. That's right. You are the guy that, didn't you cook some chili up for the, the homeless out here or something like yeah. that? Cook a bunch of chili up? Big pot of chili and some chicken wings. <laughs> 11 homeless people. 11 people, look, he, 11 unhoused people he cooked chili for and chicken wings. This dude, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been talking to him for a minute before I started recording and he has a, he has a beautiful heart, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. This is my new brother, man. I, I have I have adopted Sam. <laughs> so Sam, anything else you want to say? Like, is it um, where, where'd you come? Where, where are you originally from? Ponchatoula, Louisiana. What? Wait, wait, where's <laughs> this sound here. country? I was raised in Houston, and everybody says country. Houston is the fifth largest city in the United States. You're still country, I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's Anyways. dope. You got kind of an accent, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I hear it. I ain't going to tease you, but... <laughs> I've been here 30 years, and I still got it. Yeah, you can't. You ain't getting rid of that, man. Hey, man, and, and, and then... Hey, man, you mind if I ask you your age? Because it's kind of crazy, because I know I asked you earlier, but you kind of blew me away. What's that? I said, you mind if I ask you your age? My age? It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm 58. This dude's 58. 58. Can y'all believe that? Like, look at this guy. Like, I thought he was like 46, 47. Like, he looks good. Uh, he, and look, once he dyed that mustache, he really finna be, <laughs> he really finna be tricking people. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, man, Sam, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Um, you're interest, you're, you're, you're interesting. Your story is interesting. You, it, it was, man, it's definitely a pleasure to meet you, man. I want to give you my number, you know, for us to stay in touch. You know what I mean? And um, if it's anything extra I can do, you know, I don't have many resources now. I, I did um I my, my wife is filing for a nonprofit right now for us. So in the next uh let's say uh couple of months, I'll be able to do a little bit more, but right now it's like I could I'll do what I can when you call me, man. Like you know what I mean? I have people that know a lot about resources tell me you know more resources than I do. <laughs> so you might help me out. Because yeah, because <laughs> believe me, and I tell a lot of people, if I see somebody homeless, I tell them I you know about all the fine resources Green Bay has to offer us? Huh? Man, so is is Green Bay that resource for, or is that, was that a joke? You'll never be dirty and you'll never be hungry. <laughs> but as far as getting and you in a place... As far as the shelters go, though, they are concentration kit. Oh, here's a story. Okay, I have a, two friends. They're over at Pamperin Park. One yeah. sleeping in the vehicle, the other one is watching TV. One of the reps from New Community uh, Shelter goes to the park looking for people that are sleeping in their cars. And then he calls the cops on them and tells the cops to tell them that there's an ordinance in the park against sleeping in the park during the day, which is a lie. There is no ordinance. Either he tells the cop to tell them either get a ticket leave the park or go to the new community shelter new community gets funding from the government they're trying to force people to go to their new community to their concentration camp as i call it because that's what they treat it like people want to go people want to go and have a bed to sleep in a hot meal and leave 
They don't want you getting in their life, mm -hmm. telling them what to do, or all of that. All that they want is a place to sleep, rest their heads, and get up and leave. And I heard it was seasonal too, right? They give you, and they actually give you urine tests at, at a shelter. Honestly. That's kind of weird. I it's told, like a little I, invasive. I told my PO that today. She said, yeah. I, said, I told her, well, you don't even give me up urine test. <laughs> and you know I smoke. <laughs> oh, man, I'm done. Really? So let me ask you a question. Um, do, uh, is it just a rumor or is, are most of these shelters um, just seasonal? Because they're about to close anyway or something, huh? What's that? The shelters here. Are they like yeah, seasonal? Yeah, they only let you stay there at, uh, when it's cold, I guess. I don't know. I've never been to a shelter here. I hear that it's... I talked to a man at the Salvation Army this morning because that's where I go to take a shower. And I asked him if he was at the shelter or if he's living on the street. He said on the street. Nobody wants to go to the shelters. Can you work a job? Are you able to, able to work a job? Is there any restrictions? Me? Yeah. I'm still recovering from um, oh, okay, the yeah. reversal. Have they give you, did they at least get, oh, you're not getting Social Security, right? No. Nothing. I would, they told me uh, they could give me an interview in like four to six months and then it would be nine months and that's not a guarantee I would get anything. And by then I would already be healed and reversed. Yeah, but then again, you know what I learned? They sent me to the. You get back paid if, if when you do when you I do have it. a friend that just did, and he got two years and eight months. Oh my god! He got twenty six thousand dollars. Oh my god! I, there is nothing physically wrong with me. Yeah. Like I told my PO, I can go in there and tell them, tell them, tell, tell them I want to, you know, just go in Walmart and start shooting people. They'll put me. They'll put me in a rubber room and a rubber suit. They'll put me in a rubber room and a paper suit for a minute. Then they'll put me in jail. Then they'll let me out. Then they'll give me a check. Right, yeah. I can't live on nine hundred dollars right. a month. Yeah, right. There ain't that's, no you gotta be crazy. Way I can live on nine hundred dollars a month. <laughs> Dude, you, you gotta know? be crazy with it. That's, that's why good. all these people are homeless. They can't live on nine hundred to eleven hundred dollars a month. It's impossible, man. Not in Green Bay. It's impossible. I ask them, why don't I lived in Fond du Lac for ten years? I paid five seventy five for a house, a five bedroom house, five seventy five. And when I moved ten years later, I was paying five seventy five. For a house with a it, yard and a is fence. That, and find a lot of prices yeah. like that for real? Yeah. Man, I'm in the wrong city. I need to, I mean, shoot. Yeah, that's what I tell people. They want to come here and pay this expensive ass rent. Overall, it's kind of peaceful and beautiful here, right? Yeah. But it's like, you know, it's not Man, worth it. I'm crazy looking for this lighter. I think she might have one. Let me ask. I've got a light. Okay. I got a hundred ways to get a light. <laughs> Hey man, Sam, man. Um, if, if 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 someone wants to reach out to you, right? Uh, for what for whatever reason, do you have a social media they can reach out to you on? Yeah, Facebook. I'm on Facebook. What's your Facebook name? Samuel Mullen. Samuel Mullen. Yeah, I got a. Uh, you got family in Florida? Florida. Uh, my dad lived in Florida. I had an uncle that owned an amusement park in Panama City Beach. Man, I know some Mullins in Florida. Some white Mullins in Florida. I mean, Caucasian. There's no S. But I'm saying Mullins. But what I mean, no Mullin. I know some. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mullins because it's more than one of you. Some people spell it different. I N S E N S. -E -N -S -E -N. He's so funny. Yeah. Hey, you got to be careful with this guy. Like he'll he'll uh, send your brain in a circle. He like being sarcastic and all that. No, I'm, I had an uncle that owned an amusement park in Panama City Beach, and I was there for spring break. It, I mean, wall to wall. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, it was crazy. It's a beautiful. I'm, I've been to Panama a couple of times. It's a beautiful place, man. Yeah. Like I, I did like a Florida tour while I was there. I went to Jackson. Um, I went to Miami, um, Panama. I did all of that. Uh, Fort Lauderdale. When I was younger, you know. Um, I lived in St. Pete for a year and a half. St. Peter. Oh wow! I lived in Fort Myers for about eight months. You did do a world tour. I remember. You, you said the world tour you did, or whatever. You know. Uh, <laughs> California was one of my favorite spots you mentioned. Oh God, you ain't seen nothing. And the fact that what in, in the nineties you was able to get into Mexico without a passport. Yeah, I got good memory, uh, Sam. Actually, it's yeah, nine, early nine, ninety, ninety-one. Well, so, Rodney King rides were in ninety-two, and I was yeah, no, that's crazy. You know that some people is just not prepared for money. You know, I mean, I'm not saying he owed you anything like that, but. 
I feel like whatever happened to him, it was because of the money that he attracted. And you know, I, I'm not saying he did the best with it, whatever. But anyway, um, you can't hit the lotto overnight, and you're 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 you're, uh, you're not prepared for it because I feel like. But what happened was there was someone with a camera when the cops were beating shit out of him and he was handcuffed. No, they I know. But when they gave him the money, though, what I'm saying is like, um, oh, let's say he kind of crashed out. They went out to his then. head, yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at all the jackpot winners. That's what I'm go, saying. That's go back exactly and look at all the jackpot winners. They're, they're, most of them are broke. Dead or broke? Yeah. Or robbed? Or, so, yeah. Anyway, so do you have a, a cash app that, that, that you want to share just in case somebody wants to donate? Send you a couple dollars, or cash, yeah, but I don't even know how. To, how or I gotta what. get, I gotta get one too. Man, I don't even know what a cash app is, dude, or what it does. Like I said, I was gone for a minute. If anybody wanna um um donate to the cause, I'll wait to post this video, but I'll show him what it is so he can um create a cash app. Otherwise, um, I have a Gmail. A Gmail? What's your Gmail? Mullen Samuel twenty eight gmail.com say that again mullen samuel 28 at gmail.com and you already spelled mullen so they know how to spell that so um all right so man man sam i, I look forward to talking to you more in the future man we go have some lunch or something um and thank you for giving me thank you for your time man and um show me show me your crib like it's dope i met a woman last week that had an ostomy bag and she was going in for surgery Friday mm -hmm. and she was talking about getting it rescheduled and I talked her into not getting it rescheduled and I seen her again today uh, she had it done and she's in pain but she needed a little support too and especially from someone that had an ostomy bag yeah so I don't know Help we, people when you can, you know. Yeah, no, I like that about you, man. And then uh, also one other thing before I, before I let you go, Sam is actually starting his own YouTube. So when he does, look forward to it. And I'm, I'm gonna tag. I'm gonna put his, his YouTube up here. Make sure y'all go follow and support him because you know this is a legit dude, a good heart, and um his journey's gonna be. Part, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fun. He's gonna give a lot of people out here tips on how to survive and all this, like. My journey's already been fun. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do right here. You, how can you have that such a, such a beautiful smile through all this pain, man? It's crazy. Like it's it's your smile is like uh, is rejuvenating me. Like it's making me happy. I'm not in pain though. See, the way I figure it is, if if I get a job, I have to get an apartment. If I get an apartment, I have to get a job. So if I don't get an apartment, I don't need a job. If I don't need a job, I don't need an apartment. No, because. Oh. People are working. When you buy a car, you pay taxes. When you get it registered, you pay taxes. When you pay for the tags, you get pay taxes. When you get a license plate, you pay taxes. When you buy the gas, oil, and everything else, you pay taxes. You're paying these people for all of that stuff just to drive your car, you know? <laughs> I mean, you're paying for their cars and their gas. That's the one thing I hear. I wish they'd go back to the barter system, you know? Then dude, we can use dude, our you skills. Don't, you, dude, you don't want to ask me, man. I told, <laughs> I told my PO, I want to start a revolution, dude. All the way down to the dog catcher. I'm, they're I'm, they're I'm gone, a, dude. I'm going to block this. I mean, I'm going to block this out, but me too. <laughs> All the way down to the dog you got, catcher. You got me on your side. Look, and then you know this world going to crash soon. And there's only people Look, like us that's going to know how to we survive. Have two people are running for president. Two people. And everybody knows they're both crooks. Yeah. But yet, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. That's America's response. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about it. Everybody says that, even if they vote or not. Oh, can you vote? Did you vote? No. Well, then you no, you can't make a difference because <laughs> the government is like a cancer. There's no way to make a difference. There's, the government is like a cancer, dude, and it's growing and growing and growing. You know. Which one would you rather have? When? Which one? What? The president. It, it don't. They're both crooks, and everybody. Knows I'd rather that. have the. Great, I'd rather have Trump. I'd rather Trump because Trump made yeah. it. Made it. Look, look. Even though he might have had an agenda, he made a little bit of a difference to me. Like I'm not. Biden gonna went in there and cut the oil supply <laughs> and made it worse for everybody. <laughs> he he cut all of the leases for the oil and made it look like we were going through an oil crisis, and then he rescued us by, <laughs> he made inflation jump so high, man. Oh my God, that's why, that's why the landlord's God. here. 
to spike the rent is just, it's just crazy, you know. Biden screwed us up when he, with the border and with oil. Yeah. I mean, the first thing he did was went and opened the border <laughs> and cut off the oil, <laughs> and that screwed us. What's wrong with him? And, like, and COVID, COVID stuck us right in the ass. I think he's a resident of China or something. But I'm gonna let you go right here, man, Sam. Okay, I, I can talk to this dude all night, right man. This, this, this is gonna be a true brother of mine. I'm gonna tell you right now. Y'all, when y'all see Sam, y'all know that's my brother right there, Joe. I hang here all the time, dude. No, I, I know, but we'll, we'll, we'll stay in touch and uh, we'll have lunch or something like that. I yeah. mean, for sure, you know? Yeah. Like, on some cool stuff, right? Yeah. Good, good, to, good to meet you, Sam. Yeah. All right, thank you.